Hello and welcome to race seven of our GT Sports Mate Manufacturers Championship. <laughs> we have some extra guests with us tonight and I'll introduce them all now. First of all, we have John. Hello, John. Hello. Next, we have Josh. Hello, Josh. You right. And Neil. Hello, Neil. Hello. So we're just about to get on the way. Um, so before we do start, how was everybody feeling before this race started? I mean, it's getting fairly close in the mid table and the bottom part of the table. So were nerves playing into it at all, uh, Josh and Neil? I think so, yeah, definitely. It's been a very tight battle between the Porsche and McLaren, especially these past four races. Uh, those two cars we've definitely seen battling, and especially in Mount Panorama, the last race. And there's also been a really tight battle between the Jaguar, Dodge and Hyundai, um, which at the moment is playing out really nicely. Um, it's, some, it's very unpredictable at the moment, isn't it? It is indeed. Yeah. I, I managed to claw a couple of points back on the last race from the Porsche. So the, the nerves was I was really quite, it was getting the better of me on this race um, because um, you know, just as easily as you can crawl them back, you can you can slip points, uh, and the, you know the the level. Um, I mean, the the level uh, uh, quality on the racetrack as we as these races have gone on now, we're, we're all at a good standard. So anything can happen, and we're all capable of a good a good overtake. So it, it was yeah, nerves are definitely getting the better of me. It's it, um, it's a t it's a it's a tricky track. I find it's 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 not very long. And it's not necessarily very tight track, but it's so easy to get a penalty and mm. it's so easy to go off on, especially the first corner where you will pick up a penalty quite easily. That could make all the difference, especially if it's close toward the end of the race. This is looking close right now with the Dodge and the Jag. Um, and the Porsche especially. That was a great move from the Dodge against the Porsche on that last corner. Yeah, yeah. It looks Look like the Porsche got the run though out that last corner, didn't it? Yeah. That's a great line there from the from the Porsche, but then yeah. straight away the um, the Dodge comes straight back. So that that I mean that what was going on there? Oh, the Porsche picking up a penalty I, there in the first corner, as we've just said. Actually, so easy to pick up a penalty. Uh, yeah. He ran off a little bit, maybe outbreaked himself a little bit in the Porsche, but again, so easy to, especially if you're trying to overtake. You I mean you're carrying so much speed down that first straight, especially if you're in a slipstream, that mm. you've got to you've got to be ready to, to hit them brakes early. You do, and especially yeah. with the tyre work, because it really eats the tyres. This track, uh, it's very difficult for oversteering and everything like that, isn't it? Especially the first corner. Especially. So there was a lot of penalties going on uh, last race. So this race, we were all like aware of it at this point, weren't we? We were all thinking. We've got to make sure this doesn't happen again. I'm sorry. Yeah, if if you do, if you get one penalty, there isn't necessarily a section where you would be forced to take that penalty. You've just got to wear that time down. And no. there's not really anywhere on this track where you're going slow enough, even through these tight corners here. If you go too slow, you're just going to get overtaken very, very quickly coming out onto the straights. It's it's quite tricky to wonder and figure really out where it's best to slow down. It's no. really good though to see just how I mean, considering you, you, it's probably impossible not to get a penalty, but there's some really clean racing going on, uh, some real good track awareness. I mean, look at this there, the, the Dodge coming past again on the, the Jag, great move. Well, speak about penalties and I can slow down. That was me there in the Jag, yeah, and that's why I decided to slow down. And it might not have been the best decision in the end, uh, but it was. Uh, in that straight, how much time I lost just from slowing down a bit to oh, overcome from that penalty. Is John coming in? Was this tactical, John? Did you? Yeah, what, it's, what? It, just just about the time when the pace was dropping off with the tyres and it splits the race into two equal stints, doesn't it? So it's it's yeah. good times to come in. I had a, a couple of seconds on Josh, I think, at this point in the um, in the in the Jag, so it seemed like the right choice to come in, but. Uh, we were talking earlier and it, it sort of jumbles up the order now so there's a yeah. potential to be getting held up in, in, in battles with people and that can that can have massive impacts on the outcome of the Reds. Yeah, and the five or something, I don't know. I think it's mostly because me and you, we both had the same tyre word, didn't we, John? Both decides to go for the fastest tyres. Yeah. Uh, and um, I'm super soft. This, this track is really difficult, especially um, 
for how many corners there is and oversteer. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think I didn't even know you were coming into the pits at that point. So both of us were thinking the same thing, I think. As well, I found it interesting. Um, you both pitted on the same lap. Um, but the Jag going into the pit had more fuel on board. So you would have saved a little bit of time there refueling. Um, just goes to show how economical that Jag actually is. Mm. Yeah, well, I think the Jag is the biggest car um, out of all of us, really. So it, it does hold the most fuel. I think um, that's one of the Jag's biggest advantages and the Porsches, because the Porsche is very similar. Yeah. Um, Porsche is very good. Yeah, but it also helps that it's so quick and straight. So, are you great. Aaron now fending, fending for his life against the high Hyundai around these side corners. Had you pitted here, Neil? I don't think you had, had you? No, at this, the, the, the lap before, I, I made the decision to try to go the whole distance without a stop. Wow. Uh, so, um, I, I knew that I couldn't keep him from that straight that you just seen him go past. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of hold him back as much as I could on the other corners, just to give myself a bit, you know, a bit more, I don't know. Um, I knew that I'm going to get caught up. I was just hopeful that, I was hopeful for third, uh, but as you, well, as the race will unfold, you'll see that I don't manage that. But um, yeah, I, it got to a point where I thought, if I pick now, I, I, I've got no other option but, 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 but last. So I just had to kind of hold, and I mean, second there. So. And, and it was just, I, I knew, well, you'll see as it gets to the, the end of the race, um, that my tyres are struggling. Yeah. But I was just about to say, actually, we're on lap nine now, so you've only got two laps to go. You're in second, you're in a good position, but you have got yeah. two cars behind you with fairly fresh rubber. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, here, but, I'm coming up your inside here. I've got the fresh rubber, I've got the grip, I could break a bit later. Yeah. It shows you just how much the tyres can affect the outcome of a race. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, when you see how quick uh, me and yourself, Kyle, managed to get to this stage in front of get, battling the McLaren, uh, it definitely shows that with the right strategy, you can catch up extremely quick. That was a clean take as well there from the Jag. It was a um, lovely It was a great move. It was a drift though, actually, from the Jag. Yeah. <laughs> And at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm in fourth now, so I'm, I'm still hoping now. I, I, I know how far back Luke is. So it was just a case of, you know, um, try my best to get a, a few more points in the push. So that's that's my predicament at this moment. But there's John. The last lap now, isn't it? And there's John, a, another amazing is John. Um, fourth winner of the seat of the championship, yeah. isn't it, John? Tip me hand. It is the fourth, yeah, it is. No, and put two on the bounce as well. That's got to do your confidence quite quite well. Yeah. As well. You yeah. won. It, it is, didn't you? You won the first two races of the championship on that camera and Red Bull, and then second time we've come here, you've won them both again. And mm -hmm. by far, you, great form from both of you. So I managed to get the fourth. How far back was the Porsche? Uh, just here now. So he he caught up. Um, but he, he wasn't quite in strike. And maybe a couple more laps he might have been yeah. able to catch up. Another lap, another lap, he'd have, he'd have definitely got me there. So it was just a gamble. But yeah. that was great. Adrenaline going. Excellent. <laughs> well, that's all from us at GT Sports, mates. We will see you all next time.